Alright guys, so like I said, since I had that lame ass video up just a little while ago, we're gonna play an episode of The Wolf Among Us. Yes! Okay, so I know that PewDiePie recently played this, and actually that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play it. And yeah, I know that's copying or whatever, but you guys can get over it because I loved The Walking Dead series. And I got a comment from one of you guys that was a top comment for a little while on my last video that said, Oh my god, play The Walking Dead series. And I was like, ah, I totally would, but I've already played it and I like to play games that I haven't played before. So we're gonna play The Wolf Among Us just because it's something new to me and I watched like the first episode of PewDiePie playing it, but other than that, I haven't watched it. So let's go. Let's hope I make different decisions than what PewDiePie made. I swear I only watched like the first chapter, so. I don't know what happens. Oh yeah, look at him, the wolf among us looking like a badass. Let's play. Oh, okay. Episode one, everyone. And I actually played the Walking Dead game on my iPad, so I will not be comfortable with the game controls at first. What's the time you did? Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Out there. Now there. Now there. DJ drop that beat. Or bass. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I love the graphics in this. Like the art is really beautiful. That's what I loved about uh, the Walking Dead game is just the graphics and the way the developer m created it. It just, it looks really, really cool. See, it looks like a, like, I don't know. Like the artist had to have a lot of detail. Did I just say $400 non-stop trip to Bahamas? Can you get to an island from a city? A taxi cab? Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. <laughs> Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I've heard enough of your excuses, Okay, we're gonna Toad. say excuses. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Okay, silence is a valid option. We know that now. So is it telling me that I chose the wrong thing? You know what I mean. <laughs> Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. That's not my fault. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. I mean, I wasn't trying to be mean. How do you say that nicely? Fuck you now. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So... What am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Uh, why he so pissed? set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. <laughs> I didn't know anything. Sorry for the language, by the way, everyone. I would bleep it all out, but it's not me saying it, so. The F word may or may not be rampant in this game. Very 
pricked up shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. Oh, how cute. You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. See, that's what I'm talking about. I am sorry. If that's offensive to anyone, I'm very sorry. This is just a little bit irritating. Let's go! Alright. Okay, so, um, since I saw PewDiePie, literally I've only seen the first, uh, the first episode, but I do know this is going to be kind of a confrontational thing. I might fail a couple times, just because I haven't, I don't know the controls of this game. So, there's that. Damn you! <gasps> no way! Whoa, whoa, no whoa, whoa, hey, man! Hey. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <clears throat> yeah, that's right. My mouth blood. I'll fucking kill you! All right, what's going on? <clears throat> All right, you're going down, buddy. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Ooh. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. Oh, bring it on. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last Bring it on, time. you asshat. Alright. So I got that. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 I got it! This is what I'm talking about. That whore's gonna watch me kill you. That's right. That's right, loser. Oh, what? No, I did it! Pound. Yeah. That's right, loser. How's your face feel now? Oh, bringing out the axe. That was cute. Fudge. Fudge knockers. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. No, they're not. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Hey! Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. Hmm. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open. Filled his belly full of 
Built stones! And threw them in the fucking river! That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Hey, what did I say about that word? Uh, come on! <laughs> ah, that looked like it was painful. Ooh, is that a stick shift? Hmm. Someone has a skilled driver. Hmm? Ah, shit. Well, no, in fact, Nicholas drives a stick shift. <clears throat> oh, Toad. Hey, Toad. My car. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. <laughs> we ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, <laughs> things end up more fucked than they started. Hi. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Uh -oh. I feel like this is a lose lose scenario. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. Why is he in there? Oh! 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 This game's awesome. Never done. What? Chris Grimm's auto doesn't even register in the game. It's like it says I have like 105 million. Or no, no, it says I have a thousand and five what are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right hey. back there? Hi. I mean, no, the I'm playing games. And the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. <sighs> Great. Okay, I the guy's got an axe you. in his brain. He's not feeling. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> it's more for me. I was just telling you. Oh. Hey, give me a kiss. You fucking bitch. I'm gonna go do the last one. Hi. He's had enough. Bye. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. I'm gonna be the good guy in this playthrough. Like, major good guy right here. Or so I hope. Just come on. I'm not very good with these snack decisions, but we're gonna try. Here. Thanks. What do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. There's some reason her lips are sealed. It has to be some like fable, like play on words kind of thing. Hey, you like my ribbon? I'm trying if you to don't answer you. my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. She's under a curse. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it all before it happens. Like we've met before. Hmm. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Oh, Huntsman got up. That's a little disconcerting. Shit. Disconcerting. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. Yeah. He needs to pay for that. He does. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. <laughs> I'd say we're even. True. 
Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not gonna be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20. 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough. Really. No, take the money! Just take the money. Okay? Take the money! You got me out of a situation Oh yeah, situation stick it in your right boobs. There. Actually. Thanks. I heard a statistic somewhere that I have to go drop off. Well, I'll tell you in a second. What I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little Ooh. late for an office visit, Sheriff. Ooh. I'll swing by your apartment. Ooh. How do you know where I? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. <laughs> you should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> this is so cute. I want them to be a thing. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Yeah. Ooh. I'll see you around. I'm such a two year old. Anyways, I heard this statistic that, like, I don't know, something like 60% of women say that if they got a lottery ticket, like they won the lottery, they'd put the ticket in their bra. <laughs> I, I feel like I read that on the back of, like, a, a Garnier Fructis shampoo bottle. Does anybody else know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. Smoking's bad for you. Quit doing that. All right, beginning of episode one. Let's go. So I guess we're in the prologue. Huh. Interesting. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Else worth seeing? Gosh. Sometimes be a disciplinary. All right. Anything else worth seeing? Can we look over here? Oh. Oh. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. <sighs> Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? Damn it, I'm late. Please, baby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I love the expressions on their faces. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. What? I don't have time to go into it right now. I'm being unbiased. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. I think that's the most morally correct thing to do, is just to be like, no, you just deal with it. It's not what you Feet. might be thinking. Bye, beauty. Sorry. That bothers you when people crack their knuckles. I do it all the time. 
I also got my necklace. What you gonna do about it, son? Let's go. Alrighty. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Unpopular. Which am I? Later, loser. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. <sighs> That's, I mean, what else was I supposed to do? Like, I'm sorry. I don't want to be involved. That's... Your marital issues. Like he said, your marital issues. Not mine. I'm just here to be the protector of the Fable Town. <laughs> Can that be my official title? Protector of Fable Town. Arden Rose, protector of Fable Town. Bluebeard's uh Don't even story is. That. Probably a bad sign. I know he's a bad guy. I just don't remember why. Ah, oh, and there's a giant pig on my sofa. Hi, how how you doing? No, not again. Can we talk for a second? Hey, Colin, get up. All right, looks like we're gonna touch Colin. Oh, hey, Big B. What's up? I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I love pigs. <laughs> He's kind of gross, just a little bit. Stop, homie. Up my pig, homie. Got a smoke? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good for you. Why is everyone smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. I'm gonna be nice. Because he's probably right. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are. What a moocher. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So 
So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. Thank I'm you. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. Mm. I mean, look at your hands. <laughs> I was saving a poor winch. Who'd you get in a so. fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. What? Hello, it was the Huntsman. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. Yeah, Colin, you fat pig. do you think this pig. all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. For someone who's trying I'm to sure mooch alcohol off me, you're not very nice. Tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, Toad. Toad. Mr. Toad. Okay. How are his kids doing? I was yelling at him. Uh, sounds about right. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Mm. Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Oh, look how sad he looks. If I give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. What a douche. Thanks, Big B. How's it? Oh. Oh, oh that's. Yeah, mm hmm. Cute. Cute. <gasps> Is that our friend? Ew. Mm, little nighttime rendezvous with a you. Oh, suit up. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Alright guys, so that is going to be part one of The Wolf Among Us. I am so excited about this game. So far it has been so much fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I thought this would be a fun one to do that's not really horror, but has a great story. The graphics are amazing. And I don't know, I just thought you guys would really enjoy it because I love it and you guys normally have pretty parallel taste with me. Uh, let me know what you want to see me play next because I'm going to start doing potentially two episodes a day, one of the current game that I'm on and then a new game and then, you know, like cycle through like that. Um, but anyways, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.